Alright, so we're going to do something a little bit different today, guys. I'm going to show you my latest project. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, it's Brian coming at you tonight. I'm about to put together a shrimp rack and I thought I would uh, just kind of document this build from start to finish. Uh, how far I go into it in the one video is kind of to be determined. I may do a separate video of me actually setting up a shrimp tank so you guys can see how I do it. But anyway, um, what you're looking at here are four 15 gallon tanks and in the box is one of my two new shelving racks. I've picked up uh, a nice Edsel four shelf rack, um, or actually two of them off of Amazon. <clears throat> I was thinking about building these racks but um, it just worked out better um, to pay 30 bucks for this rack. A lot of people I know have had a lot of success using these Edsel racks for smaller fish tanks. I didn't feel like going through the time and money uh, to go buy lumber and, and build a stand. Uh, all the other stands in my basement fish room I've built, um, other than these couple of metal racks I've got here, which were just stupid mistakes on buying these. but didn't feel like building anything. Anyway, so what I'm getting at here is in this corner over here where these four, my, my newest four tank, shrimp tanks are, we're going to have two just like they are now in the corner except you're going to instead of seeing two high you're going to see four high and uh, that's the plan. So these existing ones I'll drain and move on to one of the new racks and then I will put four new tanks on the other new rack and that's how it'll go. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this open, start building these. I'm not gonna sit and do an unboxing and um, film myself putting together, assembling this rack. I'll come back when it's done, unless something important or something cool happens along the way. I may jump in and film a little bit. All right, so I got the first one built and um, little, I don't want to say disappointed, but, you know, with some weight on here, these will be a lot more sturdy, but they do seem a little flimsy. I'm kind of surprised that a lot of people use these for, for tanks, but, um, you know, stuff like this too, once there's a little weight on it, it actually, um, is fine. I know they're rated to support, I think it was like 1,500 pounds or something like that. It, it was a lot. Um, well, a lot more than what the four aquariums full are going to weigh. I, I definitely made sure to check that. But over, overall, it's a nice little shelf, and it'll fit, you know, these four 15 gallons perfectly with a little bit of room to spare on each side and in the back. So um, I'm going to go ahead and construct the other one, and then I'll show you guys uh, when I've got them in place, more than likely. All right, so I have got both shelves built now. And what I did is I put uh, a few po coats of uh, polyurethane on them just to help for like if uh, water drips over and things like that. And then right here, you can see I painted the backs of all four of the new tanks black. So we're ready to go as far as that goes too. And I've already taken down two of the four shrimp tanks in that corner. Basically, I just drained them about 75% of the water and then carried them off. You know, a 15 gallon tank with just a little bit of water and substrate is manageable to carry. So um, I don't have to break the cycle or break down the tanks or anything like that in order to, to move them. So um, that's good. So um, I will uh, show you what we come up with uh, once the shelves are in place. Alright, so here's the finished project. It's a little bit hard to see uh, because of the shelving, the light's not penetrating out as much as it did with the old stands, but and uh, out of the eight tanks on the shelf, I've only got four filled up and four with lights. The four new ones are still empty, but I'll kind of take you over here and show you. 
overall I'm pretty happy with it it's not exactly what I want but I had limited room I don't like that the shelves are gonna overlap the tanks a little bit um, you know this shelf sticks out too far but I knew that going into it the old the old double ones actually did that too it just didn't show as much because you only had two stands and there was a ton of space between the tanks with those um, stands but anyway um, worked out well for what I wanted I just wanted to be able to get four more tanks in there and uh, that is succeeded doesn't look perfect but I don't care just more room to breed shrimp so any questions on these stands let me know again um, they're fairly inexpensive on Amazon I think they were like 30 bucks a piece um, they're not the greatest things you know they're pretty flimsy they're pretty frustrating to put together to be honest with you they're easy um, as far as the assembly goes but they come apart really easy until there's weight on them just the way um, that they're set up they've got these little tabs that the uh, it's too hard well I don't know I'm not gonna do a good job of explaining it but anyway um, but once you get them together and get weight on them they seem to do pretty good um, you know for what they are I'd rather have been able to maybe dedicate the time and spend money on building a a nice wood rack but uh, for what I wanted to get done quickly and uh, not spend a lot of time on doing something and money I decided to go this route so for that for an inexpensive way to get some shrimp tanks stacked uh, this is this is definitely uh, something something I would recommend well for now that's it guys um, as always make sure you go over to aquatic support systems on Facebook make sure you um, Go to Aquatic Support Community on Facebook and join that group. And make sure that you subscribe to all the YouTube channels of the Team Aquatic Support members, which will be listed below. Check out my other outlets on social media, uh, my Facebook page, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Alright guys, thanks for watching.